Did you know that the wisdom of ancient philosophies can transform the way we live our modern lives? In a world that often prioritizes material success and instant gratification, the teachings of Stoicism, Islam and Christianity offer profound insights that can guide us toward deeper fulfillment and resilience. If you want to cultivate inner peace, develop compassion and navigate life's challenges with grace, you need to explore these timeless traditions. They provide invaluable lessons on patience, self-control and the significance of community, tools that empower us to thrive in an ever-changing world. Join me as we embark on a journey through these teachings, discovering practical wisdom for daily living and the shared values that connect us all. Whether you're seeking personal growth, a stronger sense of purpose, or simply a greater understanding of the human experience, there's something here for everyone. Let's dive into the transformative power of these philosophies and explore how they can illuminate our paths toward a more meaningful life. Number 1. Introduction to Stoicism, Islam and Christianity Welcome to our exploration of three powerful belief systems that have shaped the lives of millions, Stoicism, Islam and Christianity. Imagine walking through a vibrant marketplace surrounded by the lively chatter of people discussing their hopes, dreams and philosophies. There's a warmth in the air, a sense of connection as diverse individuals share their thoughts on how to navigate the complexities of life. It's a scene that brings a smile to your face, a reminder that no matter where we come from, we all seek meaning and purpose. As we delve deeper into these philosophies, we shift from this initial joy to a more profound understanding of their core teachings. Stoicism, born in the bustling streets of ancient Athens, emphasizes resilience and the power of reason. Think about moments in your life where challenges seemed insurmountable, perhaps a difficult exam or a personal loss. Stoicism teaches us that while we can't control external events, we can control how we respond to them. It encourages us to focus on our inner strength, to cultivate virtues that guide us through adversity. This practical wisdom resonates today as many of us navigate the pressures of modern life, reminding us that true happiness lies within, not in the chaos around us. Now, let's turn our attention to Islam and Christianity. Both faiths emerged in different historical contexts, but share common threads of love, compassion and moral guidance. Islam, with its rich tapestry of teachings, emphasizes submission to the divine will and a commitment to justice and charity. Can you recall a time when you felt a deep sense of community or support from others? That feeling mirrors the Islamic principle of brotherhood, where individuals are encouraged to uplift one another. Similarly, Christianity invites us to embrace love and forgiveness, echoing the notion that our relationships are central to our spiritual journey. These teachings transcend time and culture, connecting us across generations. As we reflect on these diverse traditions, nostalgia washes over us. Each of us carries stories of our upbringing, perhaps lessons from a grandparent about perseverance or a cherished moment of kindness from a friend. These memories remind us that despite our differences, we share a common human experience. We all face struggles, yearn for understanding and seek guidance in our lives. It's this shared quest that draws us together, inspiring curiosity about how these age-old philosophies can inform our modern lives. Number 2. The importance of patience and perseverance. Think back to a moment when you faced a challenge that tested your patience. Perhaps it was a long job search that felt endless, or maybe a personal project that seemed to stall at every turn. In those moments, frustration can cloud our vision and we might feel like giving up. Yet, amidst that turmoil, there lies an opportunity for growth. This is where the teachings of Stoicism, Islam and Christianity converge on the powerful virtues of patience and perseverance. 
In Stoicism, the great philosopher Marcus Aurelius reminds us that our power lies in how we perceive and react to life's difficulties. Imagine reading his words, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Reflect on a time when you felt overwhelmed, maybe you were juggling school, work and personal commitments. By adopting a stoic mindset, you can transform that feeling of being trapped into a moment of clarity. Patience becomes a strength, a conscious choice to endure while maintaining focus on your goals. Now let's shift our gaze to Islam. The Quran emphasizes the importance of patience with a beautiful reminder. Indeed, Allah is with the patient. Picture yourself in a moment of hardship, perhaps a time of loss or uncertainty. This verse encourages you to seek solace in your faith, to remember that you are not alone in your struggles. It's a source of strength, a reminder that resilience can be cultivated through spiritual connection and prayer. This message resonates deeply, particularly for those who find comfort in community and shared beliefs. Christianity also embraces the theme of patience. The Book of Romans encourages believers to be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. It's a powerful reminder that patience isn't passive. It's an active choice to remain hopeful, even in the face of adversity. Think about a time when you felt uplifted by the support of friends or family during a tough period. These shared experiences foster resilience and provide a sense of belonging, reinforcing the idea that we can weather life's storms together. As we delve into these teachings, a sense of nostalgia washes over us. We recall the moments in our lives where patience proved invaluable. Perhaps when you were learning a new skill, overcoming personal challenges, or waiting for a dream to unfold. Those experiences shape who we are and remind us that growth often requires time and effort. Feeling a surge of curiosity, we begin to ponder, how can we apply these teachings to our modern lives? What practical steps can we take to cultivate patience and perseverance in our daily routines? Number three, the golden rule, treating others well. Now let's explore a concept that resonates across cultures and belief systems. The golden rule, the timeless principle of treating others as you wish to be treated. Imagine the warmth of a smile shared between strangers or the kindness of a helping hand during a difficult moment. These acts of compassion fill our hearts with joy, reminding us of our shared humanity. It's a beautiful feeling, isn't it? As we delve deeper into the essence of the Golden Rule, we discover that its roots run deep in Stoicism, Islam and Christianity. In Islam, the Hadith teaches None of you truly believes until he wishes for his brother what he wishes for himself. This powerful message emphasizes empathy and compassion, urging us to consider the feelings and needs of others. Think back to a time when you offered support to a friend in need. That sense of connection, of shared understanding, embodies this teaching. It's a call to nurture our relationships and build a community grounded in care. Christianity echoes this sentiment through the teachings of Jesus, who instructs us in the Gospel of Luke, do to others as you would have them do to you. This simple yet profound principle serves as a foundation for ethical behavior and interpersonal relationships. Reflect on the moments when you experienced unexpected kindness from others, maybe a stranger's gesture on a tough day or a friend's encouragement when you needed it most. These experiences remind us that our actions hold the power to uplift and transform the lives of those around us. Stoicism adds another layer to this understanding, with philosopher Seneca stating, treat your inferiors as you would be treated by your betters. This challenges us to consider how our actions impact those around us, regardless of their status or circumstances. Can you recall a time when someone treated you with dignity and respect, regardless of your situation? Those moments resonate deeply, 
fostering a sense of belonging and appreciation for one another. As we explore the teachings of the Golden Rule, a wave of nostalgia envelops us. We remember our childhood lessons about kindness, the values instilled by our families and communities. These memories remind us that, despite our differences, we all long for connection, understanding and respect. With curiosity piqued, we begin to wonder, how can we actively incorporate these teachings into our daily lives? What practical actions can we take to ensure we treat others with the kindness and compassion we all desire? Number 4. Perspectives on Wealth and Material Possessions In our lives, the pursuit of wealth and material possessions often occupies a significant portion of our thoughts and energies. Picture this a beautiful sunny day where you stroll through a bustling city, the air filled with the scent of fresh coffee and baked goods. People around you are laughing, shopping and enjoying the moment, embodying a sense of happiness that seems directly tied to their material comforts. It's easy to associate joy with what we own, be it the latest tech gadget, a luxurious car or a beautiful home. This initial happiness is compelling, it's a feeling many of us can relate to. But as we delve deeper into the teachings of Stoicism, Islam and Christianity, we encounter a more nuanced understanding of wealth and material possessions. These traditions encourage us to reassess our relationship with material goods. Stoicism, for instance, teaches us that true wealth is not found in possessions, but in our character and virtue. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus famously said, Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. This sentiment invites us to reflect on our desires, how many of the things we chase after genuinely contribute to our happiness. Consider a time when you bought something you thought would bring you joy, only to find that the excitement quickly faded. This fleeting satisfaction can lead to a cycle of wanting more, ultimately leaving us feeling emptier than before. Stoicism teaches us that by practicing detachment from material possessions, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and contentment. Instead of seeking fulfillment through what we own, we can focus on the richness of our experiences, relationships and personal growth. Islam offers a profound perspective on wealth, emphasizing the importance of charity and the transient nature of material possessions. The Quran states, and do good indeed, Allah loves the doers of good. This teaching reminds us that our wealth is not solely for our benefit, but is a means to support those in need. Reflect on the joy of giving. Perhaps you've experienced the warmth of helping someone less fortunate, or the satisfaction of donating to a cause you believe in. These acts of kindness not only uplift others, but also enrich our own lives, reinforcing the idea that true wealth lies in generosity. Christianity echoes this message through the teachings of Jesus, who instructed his followers to store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys. This profound wisdom encourages us to prioritize spiritual and moral wealth over material accumulation. Think back to moments of genuine connection with others, time spent in meaningful conversation, laughter or shared experiences. These memories often stand out more than any material possession, underscoring the idea that relationships and love are the true treasures of life. As we explore these perspectives, nostalgia washes over us. We may recall the values instilled in us by our families, lessons about the importance of sharing, humility, and recognizing that material possessions are fleeting. These teachings form the foundation of who we are, inviting us to cultivate a healthier relationship with wealth. Curiosity stirs within us. How can we actively apply these teachings to our lives? What practical steps can we take to foster a more balanced approach to wealth and possessions? Number five, practical wisdom for daily living. As we navigate the complexities of modern life, the teachings of Stoicism, Islam and Christianity 
provide us with invaluable practical wisdom for daily living. Imagine waking up in the morning, the sun streaming through your window, a sense of possibility in the air. Each day presents a new opportunity to apply these timeless lessons, enriching our lives and those around us. One of the core tenets of Stoicism is the practice of mindful consumption. Before making a purchase, we can ask ourselves, is this something I genuinely need? Will it bring lasting value to my life? This simple yet profound question can shift our perspective, encouraging us to break free from the consumerist mindset that often permeates our society. Picture yourself standing in front of a store display, contemplating whether to buy a trendy gadget. By reflecting on its true value to your life, you empower yourself to make choices aligned with your values rather than succumbing to fleeting desires. Incorporating gratitude into our daily routine is another powerful practice derived from these traditions. Taking a moment each day to reflect on what we are thankful for, be it our health, relationships, or even the simple joys of life, can cultivate a sense of contentment. It's a practice that transcends age and circumstance, resonating with anyone seeking a deeper appreciation for life. Perhaps you've experienced a moment where gratitude transformed your outlook when you paused to appreciate the small things and suddenly your worries felt lighter. Islam encourages us to engage in acts of kindness and generosity regularly, whether through charitable giving, volunteering or simply being present for someone in need. These actions enrich not only our own lives, but also foster a sense of community reflect on a time when you reached out to help someone else. That moment of connection reminds us of our shared humanity and the profound impact we can have on one another. Christianity also emphasizes the importance of community and service. Engaging with others through acts of kindness reinforces our interconnectedness and allows us to live out our values. Consider the joy of participating in community events or helping a neighbor. These experiences create bonds that transcend material possessions, grounding us in shared purpose and compassion. As we implement these practices into our daily lives, nostalgia gently nudges us, reminding us of the values instilled by those who came before us. Maybe you recall lessons from your parents about kindness or moments spent volunteering as a family. These memories are precious echoing the timeless wisdom of our traditions. With curiosity ignited, we begin to wonder how can we further integrate these practices into our routines? What steps can we take to ensure that we live out the teachings of Stoicism, Islam and Christianity in our everyday interactions? Number 6. Self-control and managing anger. In a world where emotions often run high, the ability to manage anger and practice self-control is more vital than ever. Picture a moment where frustration boiled over, perhaps a heated argument with a loved one or a confrontation at work. In those instances, it can be challenging to pause and reflect, leading to reactions we might later regret. Yet, as we delve into the teachings of Stoicism, Islam and Christianity, we discover powerful tools for cultivating self-control and transforming our emotional responses. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of mastering our emotions, particularly anger. Marcus Aurelius wisely noted how much more grievous are the consequences of anger than the causes of it. This teaching encourages us to step back and reflect before reacting. Think about a time when you felt anger welling up inside you. By taking a moment to breathe and reassess the situation, you might have been able to respond more thoughtfully, preserving relationships and avoiding unnecessary conflict. Islam offers profound guidance on managing anger as well. The Hadith states, The strong person is not the one who overcomes others by strength, rather. It is the one who controls himself when angry. This definition of strength reshapes our understanding of power, moving it from the physical realm 
to the domain of self-mastery. Picture a time when you chose to respond with patience instead of anger, perhaps when faced with an insult or provocation. That choice not only reflects strength, but also promotes peace and reconciliation, reinforcing the idea that our reactions shape the world around us. Christianity echoes this sentiment, encouraging believers to be angry and do not sin. This acknowledges that anger is a natural human emotion, but it emphasizes the importance of how we express it. Reflect on moments when you witnessed anger spiraling into hurtful words or actions. These experiences serve as reminders of the destructive potential of unchecked emotions, inviting us to choose our responses wisely. As we explore these teachings, a wave of nostalgia may wash over us. We might remember lessons learned from family members about managing emotions, or instances when we were encouraged to choose kindness over anger. These memories shape our understanding of emotional regulation and the importance of nurturing positive relationships. Curiosity stirs within us as we ponder how can we actively practice self-control in our daily lives. What strategies can we employ to respond to anger with grace and thoughtfulness? Number 7. Facing adversity with courage. Life is filled with challenges and unexpected difficulties. Consider a moment when you faced a setback, a job loss, a personal loss, or a health scare. In those moments, fear and uncertainty can easily creep in, making it difficult to see a way forward. Yet, as we explore the teachings of Stoicism, Islam, and Christianity, we find powerful guidance on how to face adversity with courage and resilience. In Stoicism, we are reminded that challenges are an inherent part of life. The Stoic philosopher Seneca wrote, Difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. This perspective encourages us to reframe adversity as an opportunity for growth. Think back to a time when you overcame a significant challenge. Perhaps it required immense effort, but in the end it led to personal transformation or a new understanding of yourself. Embracing adversity as a teacher allows us to cultivate resilience and develop the inner strength needed to navigate future obstacles. Islam similarly emphasizes the importance of patience in the face of trials. The Quran assures us, and we will surely test you with something of fear and hunger and a loss of wealth and lives. This acknowledgement of life's inevitable hardships offers a sense of solace, reminding us that we are not alone in our struggles. Reflect on a time when you felt tested yet emerged stronger on the other side. That experience underscores the idea that our faith and perseverance can help us navigate even the most challenging circumstances. Christianity echoes this sentiment through the teachings of Jesus, who faced immense adversity throughout his life. His example of unwavering faith and courage inspires believers to confront their own trials with strength. Consider moments in your life where you drew on your faith or the support of your community to overcome obstacles. These experiences reinforce the notion that we can face adversity together, drawing strength from one another. As we reflect on these teachings, nostalgia envelops us. We may recall moments of courage displayed by loved ones or mentors who faced adversity head on, inspiring us to do the same. These memories remind us of our capacity for resilience and the power of community in overcoming challenges. Curiosity ignites as we ponder, how can we better prepare ourselves to face adversity with courage? What practices can we adopt to foster resilience in our daily lives? Number 8. Shared Values Across different traditions, as we navigate our exploration of Stoicism, Islam and Christianity, it becomes increasingly clear that these traditions share profound values that resonate across cultures and time. Imagine standing at a crossroads where diverse paths converge, each representing a unique philosophy. While the journeys may differ, the underlying principles often lead us to similar destinations, 
compassion, integrity, and a commitment to personal growth. At the heart of these traditions lies the value of compassion. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate empathy and understanding, recognizing the interconnectedness of all beings. Reflect on a time when you witnessed or experienced an act of kindness that transcended differences, perhaps a moment of support between individuals from varying backgrounds. Such instances highlight the universal desire for compassion, reminding us that our shared humanity unites us. Islam emphasizes the importance of justice and fairness, urging followers to treat others with respect and dignity. The Quran repeatedly calls for compassion towards fellow human beings, fostering a sense of community and shared responsibility. Picture a time when you participated in a community effort, maybe a charity event or a volunteer initiative. These experiences serve as powerful reminders of our collective strength when we work together for a common cause. Christianity reinforces these values through the teachings of love and forgiveness. Jesus' emphasis on loving one another invites believers to embrace empathy and understanding, fostering relationships grounded in respect. Think back to moments where you forgave someone or extended grace to those around you. These acts of love serve as testaments to our shared commitment to fostering a more compassionate world. As we explore these shared values, Nostalgia brings forth memories of the lessons learned from our families and communities. Perhaps you recall teachings about kindness and justice, instilling a sense of purpose that transcends individual beliefs. These foundational values shape our character and guide our actions, regardless of our specific philosophical or spiritual affiliations. Curiosity emerges as we consider how can we actively embrace and promote these shared values in our daily lives? What steps can we take to foster greater understanding and compassion among diverse communities? Number 9. The Role of Adversity in Personal Growth Life's challenges often serve as the catalysts for our personal growth and transformation. Imagine standing at the edge of a daunting cliff, the waves crashing below, a moment that evokes fear and uncertainty. Yet sometimes, it is precisely in those moments of discomfort that we find the opportunity for profound change. As we delve into the teachings of Stoicism, Islam and Christianity, we uncover the invaluable role adversity plays in shaping our character and guiding us toward our true selves. Stoicism encourages us to embrace adversity as an essential part of life's journey. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus famously stated, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This powerful reminder invites us to reframe our perceptions of challenges. Reflect on a time when you faced a significant setback. Perhaps it forced you to re-evaluate your priorities develop new skills, or strengthen your resolve. These experiences teach us resilience, urging us to respond to adversity with grace and determination. In Islam, adversity is viewed as a test from Allah, a means of purification and growth. The Quran states, and we will surely test you with something of fear and hunger. This acknowledgement of life's trials serves as a reminder that they are not mere obstacles, but opportunities for spiritual elevation. Think back to moments when you faced hardship and emerged stronger, perhaps drawing on your faith to navigate difficult times. Such experiences foster a deeper connection to your beliefs and reinforce your capacity for growth. Christianity echoes this sentiment through the concept of suffering as a pathway to personal transformation. The teachings of Jesus highlight the importance of perseverance in the face of trials, encouraging believers to find purpose in their struggles. Reflect on instances where your faith provided solace during challenging times, or where you witnessed others finding strength in their beliefs. These moments reinforce the notion that adversity can lead to greater understanding and compassion. As we explore these teachings, Nostalgia envelops us, 
prompting memories of the challenges we've faced and the lessons learned along the way. Perhaps you recall family stories of resilience and determination, reinforcing the idea that growth often emerges from hardship. With curiosity ignited, we ponder, how can we embrace adversity as a catalyst for personal growth? What practical steps can we take to foster resilience in ourselves and others during difficult times? Number 10. Conclusion and Invitation for Continued Exploration As we conclude our exploration of Stoicism, Islam and Christianity, we find ourselves at a rich intersection of wisdom, compassion and shared values. Imagine standing in a vibrant community, surrounded by individuals who have each embarked on their unique journeys, yet share common aspirations for love, understanding and personal growth. It's a beautiful tapestry of humanity, where diverse experiences intertwine to create something profoundly meaningful. Throughout this journey, we've examined essential teachings that resonate across traditions, the importance of patience, the value of compassion, the role of adversity in personal growth, and the significance of self-control. Each of these lessons invites us to reflect on our lives, encouraging us to seek deeper connections with ourselves and others. As we move forward, let's carry these insights with us, using them as guiding principles in our daily lives. Picture the possibilities moments of gratitude for the small joys acts of kindness that ripple through our communities, and the courage to face challenges with grace and resilience. It's a commitment to living out the values we've explored together, fostering a world grounded in compassion and understanding. I invite you to continue this journey of exploration. Engage with the teachings of Stoicism, Islam and Christianity, diving deeper into the rich philosophical and spiritual landscapes they offer, Reflect on how these lessons resonate with your own experiences and how you can incorporate them into your daily life. Perhaps you'll find inspiration in the writings of great philosophers or spiritual leaders, or maybe you'll connect with others seeking to navigate their own paths. Share your reflections, engage in meaningful conversations, and cultivate a community grounded in shared values. Together, we can embark on a journey of growth understanding and compassion, illuminating our lives and the lives of those around us. Let's embrace this opportunity to learn, grow and deepen our connections, both with ourselves and with one another. Thank you for joining me on this exploration and I look forward to the continued journey ahead. As we wrap up this exploration of Stoicism, Islam and Christianity, it's clear that these ancient teachings hold powerful lessons for our modern lives. They invite us to embrace patience, cultivate compassion, and face adversity with courage. If you've resonated with these insights, drop a comment with a hundred to show that you're among the rare few who complete what they start. It's a testament to your commitment to personal growth and understanding. If you're serious about transforming your life and applying these timeless principles, make sure to join our community by subscribing to the channel. Together we can delve deeper into these teachings and continue our journey toward a more meaningful existence. Your engagement not only helps you grow, but also inspires others to seek wisdom in their lives. Thank you for being a part of this exploration, and I look forward to sharing more insights with you soon.